<laughs> well, she is one of our most successful actresses, and I'm hoping she's still here. Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe <laughs> her big screen to do alongside Hugh Grant in the movie Sirens. Oh. Portia de Rossi has since starred in the hit US television show Scandal, Ally McBeal in Arrested oh. Development. Yes. She is someone with real talent, and now she's back on the silver screen in a hilarious new Australian comedy. Married, of course, also to TV superstar Ellen DeGeneres, Portia is one half of America's hottest uh -huh. hour couple. And we are delighted to say we are lucky enough to be joined by Portia De Rossi live from Los Angeles. Give her a big round of applause, folks. Woo! Good to see you, Portia. You are, of course, a yeah, good Victorian good. girl, the heart of Aussie horse racing. We just had the winning jockey talking I to us. It. Did you hear that? She is my new hero. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. as, a, as a horse rider, I can't believe how much courage these people have. But as a woman and her work with the disabled, she's just so inspirational. And what a day for her. Indeed. Well, I can think of a TV show she might want to appear on in the United States at some point that would be good for her. <laughs> yeah, put her on Ellen. <laughs> oh, that one. I was like, wait, what are they talking about? Yeah. Scandal? I'm like, uh, I was trying to connect the Ellen. dots too. <laughs> it was a big I know lie, people right? at that show. I, yeah. I can make that happen. Yeah, that's <laughs> sweet. Look, you've enjoyed huge success of your own in Hollywood, obviously on the small screen, the big screen too. Why have you come back down under for your latest project? Well, I loved the script, Now at Honey, so much. And uh, and Robin Butler and Wayne Hope are just so clever and funny. And I love the librarians. And I just really mm. wanted to work with them. So I was lucky enough that they wanted me. And I got to work and live in my hometown and catch a tram to work. And <laughs> um, and in Melbourne, it was, it was just so much fun to be back home and to work. In Australia. We're going to have a little look at the movie Porsche, but basically you play a Robin's sister. You come back home with your uh, precocious daughter, is that what we call her? Yes, well, I'm, I'm kind of like a momager. I don't know if you have that term. <laughs> like a mom, but a manager. Yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty rotten character, actually. I, I care more about my daughter's career than my actual daughter. So, um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, she, she's an interesting character, but you know, it's, it's basically a family comedy about, you know, this, uh, the impact that this, this, this kind of, you know, movie star has on a suburban family in, in Melbourne when she has to live with them for a little while and, and see, and see what it's like to live as a normal person. Look, the movie um, tackles Portia some massive issues, many um, issues in society, including body image. Do you believe Hollywood is setting some unrealistic expectations in that respect? You know, it's funny, Sylvia, because 20 years ago I would have said absolutely and I was, you know, obviously very affected by it. Um, but I have to say, because of people like Robin Butler and Wayne Hope and because of Shonda Rhimes, my other boss in, uh, on Scandal, I think that they're bringing stories to light that um, are more relatable mm. and they're writing better roles for women. Mm. And mm. so now, you know, people want to see themselves. They don't want to just look at a pretty young, thin thing as much as they want to see themselves reflected and, um, and to see life as it really evolves. And mm. I don't know, I, I think that there's, it's a very interesting time in, in television and film and it's because of people like Robin and, and Shonda Rhimes that are changing the way we we look at actors. Like, um, so it, it's a, it's a cool time, but obviously, you know, it still exists. I mean, it it, it does exist to a degree, and I think it's it's worse for really young girls and uh, you know with the pop stars these days. Mm. I sound really old, but yeah. you know, I mean, but it's true. It's like you can't be a successful female pop star unless you're under 25 and prepared to never wear pants again yes. um, well, yeah. for <laughs> your whole life. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so I, I do think that there's that's kind of an issue that this film brings up is kind of the sexualization of, of really mm. young girls mm -hmm. um, and also how we as a society see women as they age and our unrealistic expectations of how they're supposed to look. Mm. Mm. The well film said. is, is yeah. Got, yeah, well said. It's got a great cast too. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're looking forward to the film opening uh, around the country tomorrow. Yeah. You're of course in a unique situation to observe the whole uh, industry, if you like, the entertainment industry, um, as as Alan's partner for a long time. Now, can we ask how is Alan and how's life for you two? She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> She's just fantastic. I mean. 
Oh, she's she. Her show just keeps getting better and better, and um, she's just launched a new um, lifestyle and clothing brand, Ed by Ellen. Um, Finding Dory is coming not next year. She's very busy, but she's very happy doing what she does best. And um, I'm so happy to know that she has such a huge fan base in Australia. Huge. Um, it just makes it makes me happy to know that 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 you guys get her and love her. Mm as much as we do over here. Well, we love you more, obviously. Yes. Um, <laughs> well... <laughs> just saying. Um, of course. But, you know, Sorry. like, looking at that, those beautiful pictures of your wedding day, yeah. and, and, and look, you look so beautiful. Um, sure. You do Thanks. now as well as then. Um, but, you know, this whole push, it, it sort of needs to happen. Well, everyone feels like it needs to happen, and, and looking from afar, you must also desire that here. Um... Uh, 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 what a, pu a push uh, for, for marriage, marriage quality. quality oh 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 gosh mm. yes of course um, yeah of course I mean it was an incredible thing that happened this year um, over in the States and I I don't know how I don't know where you guys are with that right now but you not know there. it just mm. not there huh mm. getting um, closer every day let me just, yeah let me just tell you that like your lives as you know it if you're not gay and will never be affected by it yeah, <laughs> exactly yeah. right. you know it's yeah. just it's it's people like us who are feel marginalized in society and feel like we're not good enough and feel all those things it makes every bit of difference in the world uh -huh. to hear my mother call ellen my wife instead mm. of my partner or something less than it makes all the difference. All the difference. Well, you're amazing so to I, talk to. Um, you're incredibly yeah. intelligent. It's great to talk to you. Also, your hair looks amazing. Who's it's doing awesome. your hair these days? Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> gee, look James, at that. I've been looking at your guys' hairs, actually, uh, You don't Richard. want to look too closely um, at mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one natural about it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I tried I to get wins. that exact style on Scandal. Yeah, yeah uh, exactly. Okay. Which style? <laughs> the style. That style. The Rod Stewart style. Yeah. <laughs> Good style, Richard. Yeah. Thank you, darling. I love yeah. you, too. Hey, great to see you, Portia. Um, and, yeah, we Thanks. love you lots. And, uh, and you come back now here. We'd love to see you here soon. Thanks so much. And please see this movie. It's really cool. We'll do. Oh, we can't Good wait, too. Thank you for joining us this great. morning.